Hi everyone, it's Sarah here. Today I am back after a pretty long break from posting any videos here on YouTube, uh, but I was feeling really inspired by the new releases from Studio Calico for August 2019. Um, this is the Found and Collected Traveler's Notebook Kit. And this is the notebook, and then off to the side, what I'm going to go through right here are all of the other pieces that come in the notebook kit. And then on the left-hand side of the screen, that is actually the stamp subscription for this month. And I just fell in love with all the colors. This stamp set is amazing with all of the stars and moons. And I just feel like there's a lot of overlap with the pieces that are in here um, with bullet journaling. I don't know, maybe I'm seeing that kind of correlation because I've been um, doing a lot of I wouldn't say research, but just kind of getting into bullet journaling and looking at a lot of bullet journaling photos and videos and all that good stuff. And I feel like a lot of these things could be used in bullet journaling as well. So I am loving all of that, especially this washi tape, which has the days of the week on it. Not only do you have a really fun gradient, but that could also be used in a planner. So super fun. Uh, and then I see that photo corners are coming back. So I've seen them here. Obviously, they're in this kit as well as this month's documenter kit from Studio Calico. And either one or two months ago, um, Felicity Jane also brought out some photo corners. So these might be making a comeback. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not mad about that. I actually really enjoy using photo corners. So that is fun. So that was a look at the kit. I'm going to be putting together a couple of pages here. Uh, this is a photo of my daughter at the playground and I am first going to be disassembling my notebook. Um, I've been doing this now for a couple of months just because I found that I was kind of getting behind on my monthly notebooks. I used to put together a personal notebook every month and starting last month I felt like it was just kind of one more project that I was having to worry about and I decided to remove that pressure for myself and um, I've been disassembling these notebooks and just using the pages in other projects that I'm working on. So I'm going to be adding this page into my summer mini album. I'll just go ahead and cut it down the middle and then punch some holes in it and I'll add it to my notebook. And then the other page I'll probably add to a personal, kind of a combined personal notebook. So this is just another option of what you can do with your traveler's notebooks. You don't have to kind of keep them all together and, you know, just work with what you have. You have different options of what you can go with. So if you feel like there are pages you can't use or you feel like notebooks themselves are difficult to work in and you want, you know, single pages to work off of or you want to rearrange pages or all that stuff, you definitely have that option. You can just remove the staples and um, you can either buy a long arm stapler to put the notebook back together or you have some different options there that you can kind of reassemble it. So I really like just being able to work on a flat surface. That was kind of nice. I've gotten very used to working in kind of a bulky notebook, but this is kind of a treat to be able to just have this flat surface and not have to worry about when I'm stamping, um, getting that kind of clean impression. So I added some washi tape to the right. I added that seven because um, this whole spread is about my daughter going to the playground. I think if it was up to her, she would be going to the park every single day, seven days a week. Um, we don't get to go that often, but I think that would definitely be her preference. And that's kind of what this whole layout is about. Um, I also stamped some journaling lines underneath the photo. That was a stamp that came with the Traveler's Notebook Kit. Um, as well as these kind of border stamps. I'm just inking them up and stamping them in between the lines on the left-hand side. And then I'm gonna add in a few of these green phrase stickers. I really love that kind of hunter green. 
and I felt like these phrases worked really well with the story that I was trying to tell, so I'm going to go ahead and add those in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add my journaling and call it done. These asterisks are my favorite. Um, they've been offered in a few different kits and I love using them on every project. I have to kind of stop myself from hoarding them because they're just so fun to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and journal here and then that will complete this layout. These notebook spreads always come together so fast for me just because the pattern paper is already there and it kind of takes out the guesswork of that and of course using a kit always kind of simplifies the process as well so there's a look at that completed page and we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one for this one i'm going to be using the stamp subscription and I feel like this page turns out completely different than the one that I just worked on. So you can definitely get a variety of looks from these notebooks. I'm using this um, bright yellow star paper because I felt like it worked with a lot of these um, kind of brighter photos. So I have some screenshots of podcasts that I've been listening to lately. And that red... Um, on Rachel Hollis's shirt along with um, some of the colors on the daily and the ground up show uh, definitely were kind of brighter so this worked really well and you can see I actually flipped the spread here so in the notebook that yellow star paper is on the right but I felt like it would work better on the left so again another kind of advantage of taking your notebook apart you can just use it however you want so I have these four podcasts that I've been listening to lately. I listen to them um, on a pretty consistent basis. I feel like I fall in and out of love with podcasts, but I'm definitely in that love stage right now. Um, I recently discovered The Ground Up Show, which um, the podcaster or the host is actually a YouTuber as well, um, Matt Diavella. So he has YouTube videos on minimalism and just self-growth. And I definitely recommend checking him out if you are into that kind of stuff. Um, but he also has a podcast and I love listening to the older episodes. He has quite a few on there. Um, again, just kind of about minimalism and self-growth and all of that good stuff. And of course, the Rise podcast with Rachel Hollis. She is amazing. Um, the Daily and then Crime Junkie is kind of one of those guilty pleasures that I always wonder why I like that show, but it's so good. So um, I added some pattern using the stamp sets. I have some of the lines, which mostly got covered up with the photos, but I have some peeking through and I'll be using that for my journaling in a little bit. And then I added that kind of sunburst um, circle and I have kind of half of the circle peeking out from a few of the photos. And then I use the arrow just to kind of lead the eye throughout that entire side of the notebook spread just so it goes from one photo to the next. This stamp set is so perfect for kind of journaling all the things, um, but you definitely get a fair amount of patterns that you can also kind of play around with and use with your photos. So I'm going to cut out this currently and I'm going to use it on the star side just kind of as my title. And I'm going to ink up this dot pattern just to kind of ground that sentiment that I'm going to be adding on there. I'm actually going to come back in with the arrow stamp and um, add a little bit more black to the left hand side as well. And then I'm also going to add in a few of those asterisk stickers because I have to add them to every project whenever I see them. I'm just going to add this sentiment to the right hand side. I am not opposed to stamping out the same sentiment multiple times on the same layout. Totally okay with that. And 
And then I'm just gonna ink up this arrow again and add it to the right and then a bunch on the left hand side. And I feel like even though I'm kind of adding a pattern on top of a pattern, because I'm using that black ink, I feel like it's kind of subtle and it doesn't kind of overpower the spread. So that is the finished layout. I hope you enjoyed seeing how both of these pages came together. As always, I'll go ahead and add links to everything that I used in the description box below. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.